Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Yoshi's Island. This last week has been pretty crazy in terms of gaming news. We've seen a whole lot of new games revealed. We've seen some release dates revealed, a whole lot of different information. In the non-video game variety, we've had nail-biting games in two different sports. And, in Smash Brothers in particular, we've seen some leaked information come out as people try to figure out just what to take from it. But, let's have this place be a bit of a respite from all of that. Let's just focus on this game, and watch me fail spectacularly at it. Up ahead, World 2-5. Instead of watching out for news, now we have to watch out for Lakitu. But, welcome back, Donut Block Red! Haha! <laughs> First off, we have this post here. Sure enough, there's a red coin at the base of it. Consider this a sign of things to come. This log here, teetering precariously on this spiked post, ain't just for show because if it falls too, enough, too far enough to one side, it falls off completely. Oh, and, uh, that spike in particular is very fickle. Yeah, I try not to get very close to it. So as you can see, the path onward is nothing but this breakable dirt. Needless to say, do not ground pound when you're over a pit. At all. If you ground pound here, you can find a hidden wing cloud with a few stars inside. Don't ground pound here to get the eggplant to spew more eggs out at a time, just let it fall normally, or better yet, ground pound while you're still on the land and the eggplant's still in the shot. So heading forward, we have another one of these logs already over a pit, and here's the eponymous Lakitu. They behave exactly like they usually do, they pull out a spiny, well a curled up spiny, and take aim. You take care of him by getting rid of his cloud by licking it or hitting it with an egg. He takes care of him temporarily, but he will come back eventually. Red coin. Hop over this. We have some shy guys lazing about here. Lakitu is back already. Get out of here. Take this red coin. Take care of this wing cloud, which has a flower within. And a tulip. Oh, we know what to do with these. Get out of here, Lakitu. Oh yeah, and worth mentioning. If by some miracle you manage to Goomba stop Lakitu. He'll leave his cloud behind, and you can ride around on it. It's really cool. Let's get the stars from this invisible cloud here. The clouds only last so long, and wow, I did it again. I'm impressed with myself. It, uh, okay. You know, there's a limit to how far they can go, though. I mean, like this little area here. Cloud obviously can't, unless it glitches through, apparently. That was weird. <laughs> uh, okay. No, not in this one. Where is it? Alright, there's one. More stars. I thought that was there. Heading forward, we have... A oh, much-needed eggplant. Alright. This wing cloud also has more stars. They're just handing them out like like candy, practically, in this part of the level. Of course, with all these hazards around, I can't say I blame them. But if you notice, we have some outline coins and blocks here, which is awfully unusual. Because, if we double back to this middle shaft here, there's a hidden cloud at the very apex of it, and sure enough, it has that switch we're looking for. This area just got a little safer for a little while longer, and all these coins are not collectible. These two red ones were always collectible, but that's beside the point. This one has more stars! Remember, be careful not to ground pound here. Take care of this little one. Ooh, that was close! So this crate needs to be moved on solid ground so that you can get uh, so you can ground pound it open and reveal its contents. And if I had missed my aim on that egg by just a little much, I would have broken the ground and needed to push the crate too. Also worth mentioning, as you saw, that when I pounded the crate, the key popped out to the left because I was facing the left. Had I been facing the right, I could have risked that key falling into the pit here. If uh, you find the need to, make sure whatever is within the chest, crate, etc. ends up coming out in the direction you're facing. You save yourself some heartbreak that way. And look, more stars! And now we have a... Well, the, that little guy I just got rid of is called the Needle Nose. The big cactus doesn't have an actual name, but they're both pokey subspecies, so take from that what you will. Anyway, we have a locked door to enter here. What's this? A new transformation? The train can travel along the tracks drawn on the walls. 
Accelerate to dodge enemies by pressing Y. And apparently accidentally hit the message block again. But here we are. Dun-na-na-na-na! The train form is pretty uh, straightforward normally. Hold Y to move faster, but you can inexplicably enter these drawings and keep moving. Run out of track though and you just fall. You can just pick up more bubbles at any time to refresh the timer. Here we have the first example of what's called a train bandit, even though they look like shy guys. Let's keep, uh, keep moving, keep them guessing, make sure they can't catch up to you. Head forward here. Actually, let's double back and go the right way. Grab another bubble to keep the timer going. Here's a flower, aka the thing we came in here to get. Backing up down. Oh, not backing up anymore. Let's keep heading down here to get more coins. They're just yellow, though. That flower really is the only reason. Ha! <laughs> can't get me train bandits, can ya? Ah. Almost done here. This rack ends next to a Yoshi block. So once again, that flower is the only reason to really go in here, but hey, a flower is a very important reason to go in somewhere. Back up here. Oh, we haven't seen this part yet, have we? Actually, this uh, drops us out a little later than we would have been originally. There's where the locked door was. See, there's a the needle nose. And now his buddy's sad again. <laughs> Let's roll this chop rock all the way over here. Let it come back a little. Oh, this is embarrassing. Looks like we just have to roll it over here ourselves to get the extra height we need to reach this door. We have another eggplant, a crazy daisy whistling away in an area we can't really reach. And better yet, the middle ring! Be careful here, though, because as soon as you get near where this post is... Or... Okay, that was mean. Okay, if you didn't see what happened there, that fly guy, once you get past that post, normally swoops down, and you have to take him out before he flies off the red coin. Thing is... He swooped down at an angle high enough to where I could not see him. So I would have had no idea he was there if I had not already known he would spawn. This is one of the few problems I have with this game, is that it can be kind of mean in regards to that kind of thing. So I'm going to be right back, since now I have to go freaking kill myself to make him come back. Okay, you better show up this time. That time he decided to appear from the right side instead. Again, how would I have known he was there if I had not already known to look for him? Come on! Anyway, this pose itself is important. Okay, actually it's not. I thought there was a red coin under there. <laughs> My memory's failing me. This wind cloud has more stars. Surprise, surprise. That little bit of dirt is itself hiding something. A wind cloud? With a seed inside, it spouts one of those giant fire... Fire flowers. Sunflowers. Up here is an interesting structure. We have an invisible wing cloud here with a one-up and no more stars. Come on, work for me here, brain. Pound this post down exactly twice. We need to get in here, but as you'll see, there's a hidden cloud in here with a switch, and you need to get back up top here. If you had pounded this down all the way, you would not have been able to get up here. Yeah, that's also kind of mean in hindsight. The good news is this is actually optional. And all the way down here. Cool looking crystals here. As we approach this, we find more of these spinning boards with a whole lot of coins. You stand on one end right to the other side and you can just rack them up. I mean, look at this, look at this. Yeah. I, I gotta I gotta give them credit. Uh, for all I just harped about how unfair a couple of those spots were in the level, one thing they do really well is keeping these secrets interesting. I mean I know that uh, the secret sections in Mario levels are nothing unusual, but the fact that every one of these seems to be completely unique and presents its own challenges and own structure and own levels of reward compared to how uh, samey they can be in some of the other Mario games, some of the main Mario games, is actually very nice. And with that, we've reached the top of the structure, collect all these coins here. In fact, there are 264 of them in here. Yeah, so I guess for how how big a BS it was to reach this area, it's certainly worth it if you know how to get it. Take care of Lakitu here. Take care of the crazy days. We have these three dirt loops. Let's see here. If I remember correctly, this first one has nothing. The second one has a cloud with stars. Surprise, surprise. 
if you move too far if you move too far off here you'll make this fly guy show up and then another one right after like I said mean make sure you get rid of them you don't want to miss those red coins but doubling back to here that middle hoop is actually the most important one because it has a hit another hidden cloud with another switch that reveals another hidden pipe two of them another pipe here but this one's a superstar, and now let's head straight to the left here and keep running along the wall. Those of you with a keen eye might have noticed that uh, whenever we uh, activate Superstar Mario, Yoshi follows along on a giant egg, and that giant egg, though we cannot see it, here we can, actually matches the color of the Yoshi you're playing as in that level. It's actually a really cool little detail. As is that cool-looking dusky sunset, maybe sunrise, sunscape, lands... You know what I mean here, that background looks cool, especially the light source. I am just dripping all over myself today. But, uh, we got 136 coins in here. Another neat little bonus. But again, completely optional, so if you didn't know about it before, that's not the reason why you didn't get 100, don't worry. Heading forward, now that we don't have to worry about any sudden fly guys we have to take care of, this purple crazy daisy spits bubbles. They can uh, mess with you mess up your momentum if you hit them, and you can actually catch them in your mouth as you saw a minute ago there, and spit them out yourself. You, uh, unfortunately cannot take advantage of this very well because, uh, because they don't affect the environment at all. If you spit them out on an enemy or a wall, it won't affect them. As I could show here if there we go. See? Not at all. And if you bounce off them, you don't get that Goomba Springboard effect that you do with the other, that you do if you jump off a regular enemy. So it's mostly just, uh, for the hell of it, basically. Anyway, if you fire across at eye level here, or slightly above, you'll find a, a wind cloud with more stars. Grab the red coin here, take care of Lakitu. Things get a little crazy here with a whole bunch of things to take care of at once. There's another one of those bubble daisies. Take him out before his bubble screws up your jump. There we go. Flower number four. What are we looking at? 16 and 4. Okay, that's good. That's not. Good thing I have some backup items. Get out of your lack of two. Alright. That guy with the target on him is called Cactus Jack. Now he's Cactus Deceased, I suppose. Alright. No, you're in one of these. There's a red coin. There's a hidden cloud with a one up. This one has more stars. I am out of eggs. That's not what I need. That is. And you can, if you get him to aim right, you can actually eat those curled up spinies before they reach you. Very convenient. This cloud has the fifth flower in it. Let's take that. stars. Although perhaps I could have saved that for a little later, as, uh, well, I'll get to that in a minute. Another red coin here. Red coin number 20. But, see this little area here, this little clump of dirt? It's a trap, because if you run through it, you'll find a shy guy in the back and a bandit running off of Baby Mario. Again, that is mean. Nothing to hint that that could happen. And worse yet, there's no wing cloud afterwards to give you stars as a refresher. Uh, if you do know about it, all you have to do is stand here and lick the thing to take care of the shy guy that's hiding within. The bandit just kind of disappears. Eh. But, here we have the gold ring. We have everything except stars, so we'll just have to burn this ten. And now we're good. Maybe a little bonus game can uh, relieve some of that. There we go. Thirty, twenty, five, one hundred. What minigame game we have? Drawing lots. Let's see if we can get an item here. And we got a magnifying glass. Yeah, there we go. I was thinking of picking the bottom right one. Good thing I didn't, right? Up ahead. The map icon shows a bat. 
The bottom map screen thing shows a cave amidst a mountain pass. Looks interesting. In fact, this is actually, uh, I actually am a big fan of this level aesthetically. And now we enter the cave of the mystery maze. Some dragonflies and butterflies flying overhead. Remember those? Those were a little extra effect in that one part in 1 7. But here we have a shy guy carrying a winged cloud. At least it's not a red coin, right? A couple orange eggs here if you need them. Looks like we're about to do some speed locking. Speaking of which, you can hold the ground pound indefinitely if you see the need to. It can get you down farther than you would normally in this little section. But of course, you want to let up every now and then because you'll miss some stuff otherwise. Here we have a uh, spring ball taken as two coins and a flower. These pedal guys are not fooling anyone. Head further down, head to the right on this one. Right, you press the right buttons, of course. We have an arrow cloud here. We have an arrow cloud here. Clearing a path for us. And popping a cloud that gives us a one up. Now we have a different spring ball. And with just the right momentum, we can get up here. You have no idea how many times it took me to do that in my practice run. It was embarrassing. More stars here. And those red coins we got. Heading further down. We have some coins here. A lantern ghost. And an egg block to give us our full set of six. Over here, we'll save that for a little bit. First, let's check all the way down here, and for this one, you want to be in the middle. Because down here, we have more red coins. A wing cloud with stars. And this one has a key. Hmm, I wonder what that'll lead to. But hanging back up here, we'll take care of these lantern ghosts. And this cloud has a door. A door to the next area inside a wing cloud. I don't get it either. Ooh, how about this place, though, huh? Look at this. You know, the red stone, the crystals, the waterfalls, the fog. It just adds up to this perfect atmosphere. Ooh, but they don't call it the Cave of the Mystery Maze for nothing. You'll end up tearing your hair out if you can't figure out how to get through here. Even for World 2, it's a little bit of a mind bender. But once you know a couple tricks, it's no problem at all. You can sit back and appreciate the beauty. So as I was saying, let's head forward. That pipe spawned Lantern Ghost, should you need it. Getting over here, we have a ball and chain, but... I don't know who stationed those blue guys in there, but I feel kind of bad for them. Let's take the spring ball up. You hear that sound? Bet you didn't think you'd see some walking cannons, right? Those things are called Kaboombas, and they are a bit of a threat if you let those big-ass cannonballs reach you. You can just sit back and observe them for now, but know that we'll have to deal with them soon. Heading back down go back down to where the spring ball was, and head to the left. Because we have a middle ring waiting for us here. Some red coins, and take note, you see that spring ball sitting on top of that gray dirt. That's important, because as we go back down here, now we are directly under where that dirt patch is. Hitting it with an egg will free the spring ball. That is the first key to solving this puzzle of the Cave of the Mystery Maze. Head up, head all the way up, and we'll find ourselves at a minigame hut. What do we see this time? This one's a watermelon seat spinning contest. Grab a watermelon and shoot your enemy as quickly as you can. Reduce your enemy's power meter to zero to win. So you're facing a bandit with a crude Yoshi mask here. Watermelons spawn here, and you have to basically uh, outsmart him. Fortunately, the bandit can use cover, but the good news is he's a bit of a dumbass. He uh, always stops when he's about to spit seeds, and he only shoots straight forward, not backward or up, or he doesn't even move. And, if he would be so kind as to be an idiot, come on. Every hit makes him almost always, not that time surprisingly, he will, he will almost always try to counterattack, but again, straight forward and without moving. Every hit takes off. Oh, he's being annoyingly elusive today. Come on, bandit. Every hit takes off one one fourth of your health meter. 
the yours or the bandits. Ah, <laughs> missed me. There's a hit, we just need one more. Come on. Uh oh. Okay. Don't worry yet. Got him! And winning the seat spinning contest will get you a melon item of one random color. This time it's a blue one. Back in here, we see some arrow clouds leading to a flower. Be careful with this one. You want to make sure this egg does not ricochet. Because otherwise, the egg may pop before it reaches its destination, and we don't want that. Over here, we have some fangs. And I said we brought into a Kaboomba, didn't I? So you can't jump on them. Well, you can touch them, but they won't hurt you unless they shoot a cannonball. You can't eat them either. Be careful around those cannonballs, because they have some big hitboxes when they blow up. But you can't kill them with a ground pound. A ground there. <laughs> and over here, and here's those lantern ghosts we saw earlier, and this is where the path reconnects. So if you don't know where you're going, it is quite a bit of a maze. Back over here. There's some coins over here. A lantern ghost on the way back down. But before you head back up there, you know this little area right here? Well, you see, if you hit the left side, you'll find a hidden wing cloud with another door. Inside is an ordinarily nondescript room with some lantern ghosts. A wing cloud with some stars in it. And if you take care of this last one, you'll get one of the, what must be the most obtuse reward in the entire game. A flower and four red coins. So to any of you who were never able to get higher than an 86 on this level, there's your answer. Just hidden away in this little area right here. Yeah. A little mean itself in a way. But that's pretty much everything we have to do in this part of the level, so let's head onward. Almost missed that one. To the right this time, this cloud has more stars. And here's those two Kaboombas that we saw before. You can also kill them with eggs. And apparently get hit. <laughs> There you go. And this door is our way onward. There's a middle ring, and uh, I just wanted to take a quick look at, the, uh, at what they did here aesthetically. You see the cave wall is giving way to some stone. It's actually really cool. You have the Mode 7 pseudo 3D blocks here. Some cloud drops and some platforms moving in, in, up and down. Cactus Jack here can get in your way, but he's no real problem. Actually, if you kill one cloud drop with another, you can actually get a cool little animation here as the first cloud drop falls away. <laughs> Avoid Cactus Jack here. Be careful with this jump. If you jump too high, you might hit the wall and miss your uh, intended target. But this arrow rock gets us out of the cave and into a jungle area. Well, two just can't decide when to steam this cannon. More eggs here for a quick refill. We have a spray fish, being annoying as usual. Those countdown platforms are exactly what you think they are. You can only stand on them uh, the number of times equal to the number displayed on them. Step on them after the... Uh, I just can't talk right today. As you can see, if, uh, every, time you uh, every time you step on them, the number counts down. Oh, damn it, spray fish. Last time you step on it, uh, if you step on it and step off when it's got a 1 displayed on it, get out of here, spray fish. It'll disappear for good, and we need to get rid of this area fast because we would not have been able to get up here and get this last flower if that countdown platform had disappeared. <laughs> so over here we have more countdown platforms, and quick push this chop rock because it'll reveal, reveal a hidden cloud here with the one up inside. And also, because if you let it fall out of the way to the left here, you actually can get crushed under it, underwater. Believe it or not, that actually happened to me, happened to me for the first time ever in my practice run. I was surprised, seriously. This game just, every time you play this game, you learn something new. But anyway, heading on further here, we have a freaking Ego Dill. Give that thing a wide bird. That thing's got a hidden cloud. Well, the thing's guarding a hidden cloud with another one up. Take no chances with it, because it's actually our last obstacle before the goal. Maybe we can get lucky and get another bonus here, he says, tempting fate. He says, tempting fate, like I said. Thirty, twenty, five, one hundred. There we go. Face pattern walls, World 2's castle are just barely in view now, and up ahead is a Lakitu taking aim. 
Deja vu. <laughs> but I think that's <laughs> I think that's enough for now. So we'll take care of the rest of the world too next time on Yoshi's Island.